So how's my hair? Does it look good? You know, I need a little bit of haircut. Was this? Would people actually want to watch this? Like, not just the video that comes out, but just the me sitting around for an hour, like struggling to like find a compelling moment. Let's hear the bagpipe sound. Doesn't sound like bagpipes. I'm gonna make a little confession to you right now, audience. I get so nervous when I have to play a solo. Um, I would always screw up when I was a kid. So now I like put the camera on. I think it's gonna be different. And it's totally not. Um, that's what makes it fun, right? Yeah, it's flute. Nope, that's still bagpipes. Still bagpipes. Howlin' for Judy, which is actually um, the mo most people know it as Sure Shot by the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why does it sound okay? This is what you people want, right? You want to learn how to make content. All right, I just switched instruments there. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. Let's see. <laughs> this is actually maybe I should just have a TikTok that's just me screwing up solo. Okay, that didn't sound bad. It's a little ditty called I'll Close My Eyes. And it's very beautiful. I screwed up the solo when I played it live. I do that. <laughs> I screw up all the time. Um, on video, you can just screw up 50 times and then take the one time, like the one take where you don't screw up. But like, that's a big part of doing videos. You just screw up. It's April Fool's Day. Why don't I just work in public? Maybe mysterious eyes. Maybe I'll give mysterious eyes to the camera. Um, that might be funny. You live and learn, you get better as you go, right? I should actually drink some water too. I've been yak, yak, yakking and honking on my horn. Oh, I didn't synchronize the sound before. All right, okay. That's gonna be helpful when I'm editing. Anybody watched my show last week? Uh, actually, I gotta switch this mic setting back. Just wanna make sure it's not gonna like run on a tape or something. I, look, I'm just gonna do the Al Borland thing and that's gonna be content. People say I remind them of Al Borland. We're gonna get the delivery right on that one. I'm not gonna flub the line. Okay, I, plus I, I messed up the sax solo a little bit. Um, people say I look like L. Borland. I don't know about that, Tim. No, I don't think that. I don't think that's such a good idea, Tim. I don't think that's such a good idea, Tim. I don't know about that, Tim. Yeah, I think that's the line. Okay. People say I remind them of Al Borland. I don't know about that, Tim. Man, I kind of squeaked that last note. I don't know about that, Tim. <laughs> it's way too high. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. That's what he says. I had to do a home improvement parody last week. And the script is the same every single time. Tim goes, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And Al goes, oh, I don't know about that, Tim. And then Wilson gives a proverb and then Tim misunderstands it. And then he gets it. And then, you know, he abuses Al emotionally. And that's every single time. I'm just going to say that into the camera as Al Borland. And that might be content. I love making fun of Home Improvement because every episode is exactly the same. Tim goes, oh, 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 and Al goes, I don't know about that, Tim. And then Tim goes to get advice from Wilson and Wilson gives him a proverb and Tim misunderstands. He goes, oh, and then uh, he gets, he goes, oh, 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 oh. and then Al comes back and he's like, I don't know, Tim. And Tim's like, shut the fuck up, Al. And he abuses him emotionally. And that's an episode of Home Improvement. Something in there is probably usable. And, uh, this has been making TikToks on April Fool's Day.